ons deel vandaag met jullie ons eerste Engelse opname. Hierdie was een levendige opname geweest laatst week voor die ouders daar aan die beginpunt van die N1. Ons wijs vir hulle hoe om carpaccio te maak en met carpaccio een carpaccio slaai, een mannen slaai, soos wat ons het aan die kant sal noem en dan een carpaccio crustini. We hope you enjoy it. How's it guys? My name is Edu Hanukko. I'm from the Burden Butcher from the Northern Suburbs. My mom and dad calls me Edu, but Burden Butcher for the rest of you is perfectly fine. What we're going to do for you guys this evening is a beef carpaccio crostini or a bruschetta. When it comes to um, carpaccio, you want to use a cut that is very lean. In this case, we're going to use, as you people in the southern suburbs would call it, a, a, a beef fillet. But in the northern suburbs, we just call it beef fillet, ne? like a beef fillet, right? A tip that I can give you is put it in the freezer for an hour, because what we're going to do is we're going to cut this very finely, very thin. And when it firms up in the freezer, it's easier to cut. So here we have a nice piece of beef fillet. This is an Angus beef fillet. Right, so as you can see, this fillet is nice and firm. It's been in the freezer for an hour. So I'm gonna cut very thin slices. And the fact that this fillet is nice and firm enables us to cut nice thin slices. You probably have to use a sharp knife. Right? Very sharp knife. Make sure you've got a, the sharper your knife is, the easier um, you can cut the meat, obviously. Um, this knife is a butcher deep burning knife, but I use it for pretty much all meat processing. So what we want to do is, as you can see, it's already nice and thin. I'm going to spread it out and we're even going to flatten it more, thin it out more. And what I'm going to use for that is a cake or a, a bread a dough roller. Sean, I don't know, what is that in English? Cook roller. <laughs> a, cook, a cook roller, close enough. That's right, so there we have the meat spread out nicely. I'm gonna use this cake roller. You can also, you can also just use the palm of your hand. This is a nice cake roller. It's made out of stone and it just helps to flatten it out even a little bit more. Thanks, Sean. It helps to flatten it out even a little bit more. Right. So what we want to do now is, all you need, really, to make this food safe, I mean, you can have raw meat, providing it's from a trusty uh, supplier, good quality of meat, you can have raw, but what, we want to, what we're going to do here is we're going to prepare it with uh, lemon juice, salt and pepper. And basically what the lemon juice does is cooks it chemically, if you know what I mean. So chemically it's done. Once we've added lemon juice. Sort of like a ceviche? It's like a ceviche, similar to when, exactly what you do with fish. Exactly similar to that. And that's all you need. This is the plate where we're going to prepare the carpaccio. First things, a bit of lemon juice on the bottom of the plate. Just want to make sure we cover the whole surface of the plate. After that, some salt, some salt and pepper. I mean, obviously you can use herbs and spices to your liking, but we want to keep it plain and simple this evening. Salt and pepper obviously goes well with beef, as you are all aware. Right, so that's the, the bottom side of the carpaccio. I'm just going to lay it out here evenly. And then we're going to spice the top side. After that, we are going to dress it with micro herb salad. We're going to roast some pine nuts on the fire, bit of salt, bit of olive oil, finely cut celery, olives, and some good quality extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, 
Another bit of lemon juice. That should do it. What we want to do is we want to roast the pine nuts. Got a pan on the fire, it's nice and hot. Already roast a few pine nuts. While that is roasting away, we're gonna prepare the salad. So what we have here, Sean, if you can just get in here, this is micro herb salad. What we're gonna dress this with, salt, pepper, olive oil. I'm gonna mix it around. Make sure that we spread the salt and the pepper evenly. This will form the base of our carpaccio salad. We want to add a few olives in there. These are pitted kalamata olives. Just that saltiness goes well with the beef. Over here, we have some Mediterranean vine tomatoes. And why you want to use these bad boys? Flavor, amazing, very sweet. That just breaks that saltiness of the olives. So we just want to cut these thinly. The other ingredient that we want to add to our salad, celery finely sliced. Right, we're just going to add that into the salad bowl. How's that? Those pine nuts, how are they looking, Sean? They're looking good. Are they good? Yep. Have they got some color already? Yep. Lekker. Sean, how do you think? How, how, how are we doing? How are we doing? Eh? I think it's looking good. Uh, so far, I think uh, all the, we've managed to get to all the English, uh, English, English, English uh, terminology and the translation. I think so far it's been good. What do you think? I think so. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go to the pine nuts. Sean, that's the last ingredient. Let's see. Oh, they're looking nice, don't they? Don't they? I sound like Australian there, don't I? <laughs> I don't really have an English accent, you know? From the northern suburbs, my bro. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, lovely. Look at that, I can smell it. I wish I could have a whiff of that. I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a, not too fine, we don't wanna make a paste. You just wanna break them up a little bit. Only a wee bit. Add a little bit of balsamic glass that sweetness goes really well with the acidity and the saltiness just to break that saltiness and acidity lovely combination i'm just going to make a, a nice little towel like this in the middle sweet tomatoes with a bit of color olives what i want to do now just sprinkle some of these lovely roasted pine nuts over the top. And to finish it off, a nice dollop of olive oil. Last but not least, Parmesan. And I tell you what, with a nice glass of red, can't go wrong. We are sophisticated butchers. I know all of you would agree. Right, I'm just gonna put the salad in the fridge for now. Next thing what we wanna do is we wanna prepare the crostini or the bruschetta. As I've mentioned before, all it is basically a crostini or bruschetta is a finely cut piece of bread that we toast. And in this case, we're using sourdough. Just wanna cut them as thin as we can. How is the garlic bulb doing? Sean, don't you want to remove the garlic bulb first, if you don't mind, please? Should be done by now. And guys, what we're basically doing with the garlic bulb is we, we're roasting it. So I've just wrapped that in foil earlier. And put it in the coals. Let's quickly toast the sourdough. We've got some more of the fillet left. What we're going to top this crostini with, very similar to steak tartare. Um, I'm just going to put this out again. What we're going to do with this is just cut it up nice and fine. Nice fine chunks. You don't want to put slices on toast. 
it just eats better when you have finely chopped pieces of meat. We're going to prepare this very similar to what we've done with the carpaccio. Only difference is it's finely cut. And as, I, as I've said before, like a rough mince. Like a rough mince. And it's a myth that you can only buy carpaccio from a butcher. You can make it yourself. And this is exactly how you make it. Good quality meat, salt, pepper, lemon juice. So after the garlic is cooled off, what we want to do is we just want to press out all the pulp of the roasted garlic. And listen, if there's some of the charred bits um, getting into the mixture, it's perfectly fine. That charness gives us a nice flavor. There we go. And what this does to the garlic is it sweetens it. You know, raw garlic is very strong, can sting as well. So this sweetens the garlic and it goes lovely with a steak tartare or this carpaccio that we are going to prepare next. So what I want to do with this is just a little bit of, you know what, I'm going to cheat a little bit, not cheat. I'm going to add an extra bit of flavor here. I'm going to add a little bit of truffle oil. That's just a personal favorite. Bar's closed. Salt, bar's closed. Last rounds. Pepper. All we need is a fork. And we're just gonna mix that in the bowl. If you have a look at the toast on that side. Oh, they look about perfect to me. Right, let's just leave them here for now. These are our Christinis. This bowl, we will add our finely chopped filet, or just fillet, as we call it over here. Salt, pepper, and another bit. This lovely truffle oil. Bit of lemon juice. Just a drop like that. And mix it with our hands, work it through thoroughly. After this, we're gonna let it rest. Then we're gonna make a little salsa. We're gonna use some more of these lovely Mediterranean vine tomatoes with a sweet flavor. We're gonna chop them up finely along with some purple onions, red onions. Purple onions. <laughs> Can we edit that? No? Okay, red onions I meant, <laughs> purple onions. The direct translation is our biggest enemy, this side of the Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Right, so we're going to cut this up finely. And as I've mentioned before, we're going to make a little salsa that just goes on top. Just a little bit of freshness, a little bit of color. This is just to get these lovely tomatoes in here. Here we go. What don't? Sorry, sorry. That means thunder in English. <laughs> some of this in our little salsa there. Got some coriander leaves here. We want to cut that finely for our salsa. That uh, peppery flavor along with the beef works lovely. A right. little bit of olive oil, salt. We're going to use the roasted garlic, need a knife, spread it nicely on our crostini. So this rested carpaccio, it's very similar to carpaccio, some would call this a tartar, but it's got exactly the same ingredients as what a carpaccio would have. And rest this nicely on top. Lovely, very simple and easy. I know what we can do is just to finish it off, a few leaves of coriander to dress it off nicely, another dollop of olive oil. Right, and there you have it guys, Angus fillet beef carpaccio salad, and then also a beef carpaccio crostini. Guys, 
this should be a great reward for all of you guys out there participating in this great event. Again, thank you to all of you. Thank you to all of you participating in this great event. From all of us here uh, in the northern suburbs from Boon and Butcher, best of luck. God bless. Senior Levier. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Shani. <laughs> Cheers, Bru. Beautiful, beautiful bro.